My name is Annalisa Wiesner. I'm from Traverse City, Michigan. I studied mechanical engineering. That's my major. And I chose it because I didn't have a better idea, actually. But there's a more of a story behind it. But um, my parents always kind of told me that I was good at engineering and that I was creative and that maybe I should look into it as a career. And so when I graduated high school, I didn't know if I really was creative, if I really liked knowing how things work together or if that was just kind of what I had been told all my life. So I took a class at the Bowie College that was into the engineering and I started taking engineering courses and I really liked them. And so I got advice from that professor at the time at the college and he suggested I teach in tech and be a mechanical engineer. So I did. I got the mail um, about Pavlis and honestly, I threw it away because I thought I don't want to be an honors college in call or I don't want to be an honors student in college. I had been an honors student for a long time and I felt like I was done with it. Um, and so I didn't really know much about Pavlis until I was at Michigan Tech. And I had a friend that um, was in Pavlis and we would always talk about personal growth and um, life stuff. And she said one day, I think you really would like Pavlis. So I looked into it and I'm really glad that I said yes and did join eventually. I picked the custom pathway and um, now looking back, that's kind of how I do things. I don't always follow the proper way to do things. I do a lot of things custom. So I guess it was just natural for me to choose the custom pathway. Uh, Dr. Fisk listened to all my crazy ideas and encouraged me to follow them. And I really appreciate that. Because sometimes I would talk to other people about my ideas and um, they would kind of not think that they were possible or just not entertain the idea. But Dr. Fisk would say, uh, why not? Or why not just make that the plan? She said one time, um, I said something about what I wanted to do, but I wasn't sure. And she said, well, why not? Why just make that plan A? And I said, okay, that's plan A. <laughs> For my honors project, I wrote a children's book about Traverse City, my hometown. For my leadership and mentorship experience, I looked at HPA Child Development and I looked in Paddler's Classroom. Um, that kind of was supposed to go along with my honors project of writing children's book. So um, I got to be around little kids and kind of see what they're interested in and what they like to read. And sometimes I would read to them. My academic enhancement is this program that I'm currently in at Yestoma Design Film School. In Vermont, I had this crazy idea earlier this year to do a treehouse engineer and design and build livable treehouses for a living. And so I was looking for a course this summer on how to build and design treehouses, and I found yes tomorrow. This experience is 100% going to impact what I do after graduation. <laughs> 100%. I mean, I know how to tan a deer hide now. That's just one of the side projects we did. And I know how to whittle my own spoons. I did that too while I was here, just out of interest. I got really good at doing reflections, I would say, through, on, through the Honors College. And I've even done a lot of reflecting in the same way, like written, done written reflection through lots of other experiences that I've had that didn't have anything to do with the Honors College. Um, so I would say that Pavlis got me started on the honors ability, know yourself. I would say I've learned throughout the course of both being in Pavlis Honors College and um, working with a life coach and just kind of learning some things on my own that I don't want to do things the way that I guess I'm ex 
expected to or is normal for a mechanical engineering student. I really am into the creative aspect of mechanical engineering and that's what I love about engineering is how creative it is um, or the potential. You know, when you know how you, how you, when you know how things work, you can make things that are really cool and really creative and that's what I want to use my degree for. Um, and so I'm planning after graduation to make things and see what I can come up with and see what I can design and build and engineer that could be useful to people and that could be awesome and cool and fun. Um, but yeah, I mean, this experience has definitely helped me to see that I'm not a person that is going to be happy at a desk job forever. I think what I loved about Michigan Tech was having a challenge and getting through it with people, like with my peers and with my friends. And there would be times when we were in the library until like 1 a.m. or even later, um, and or even all night. There would be times when we were in the library all night and um, but we were in it together and it sucked and it was terrible and we did not want to be there. But looking back, we were in it together and um, it's that idea of overcoming a challenge with people and you're in it together and that's what I would miss. Congratulations, graduate.